This video introduces you to the skeleton, and the skeleton here is illustrated in a figure that comes from the Blousen Medical Group, which I got through the, a Creative Commons license. And this shows you the skeleton as divided into the axial and the appendicular skeleton. And the axial skeleton is the part of the skeleton which forms the central part of the skeleton, the axis, so to speak. The appendicular skeleton are the attachments to this axis, the upper and lower limbs. And here we can see the axial skeleton highlighted. And it includes the skull, the auditory ossicles, which are actually very tiny bones, which you find in the, in the temporal bone of the skull. The hyoid bone, which is not directly attached to the skeleton by any articulation, it's suspended by soft tissue. Uh, the rib cage, which would include the sternum and the ribs. The, all the vertebrae, which would include the cervical, thoracic, lumbar vertebrae, and the sacrum, which are, represents fused vertebrae, and the coccyx, uh, tailbone, which also represents fused vertebrae. This figure illustrates the appendicular skeleton, and it includes the upper and lower limbs, the bones of the upper and lower limbs, and the limbs consist of attachments to the axial skeleton, which kind of form platforms on which the upper and lower limbs can move. So. When we look at the upper limbs, we have the base, the attachment to the axial skeleton consisting of two bones, the clavicle or collarbone, and the scapula. Then the actual bones that you would find within the, the upper limb include the humerus, the two bones of the forearm, the radius, and the ulna, the wrist bones, the carpal bones, the bones that you find in the palm, the metacarpal bones, and the bones of the fingers, the phalanges. If we go down to the lower limb, the base of the lower limb is formed by the hip bones, which are securely attached to the sacrum, which is not illustrated here. And they form the a platform on which the lower limbs will move and the bones of the lower limbs include the femur, the tibia and the fibula, the bones of the ankle, the tarsal bones, the bones that form the arches of the foot, the metatarsal bones, and the bones that form the digits, the toes, the phalanges again. This concludes this brief video. If you'd like to take a quiz on what is covered in this brief video, please click on the link and you'll be taken to a quiz. And please tell your, your fellow students about my videos. I hope to produce more of them and go through the skeleton in greater detail, bone by bone. And if you do like my videos, please subscribe.